Yo, 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 yo. All right, all right. Today, we've got something special. You guys know. You guys know if you've been following along what is happening today. New packs. And these ones, boy, they are special. Alrighty then. Look at this collection. Penny Hardaway. Tracy McGrady, Joe Dumars, Pal Gasol, Dwayne Wade, Penny and Tracy are diamonds. Scotty Pippen is the diamond reward. This collection, this is one of the best, maybe the best yet. And look at the odds. Look at the odds. I see like 10. Wow, I see a lot of pennies, a lot of Tracys, and these cards are lit. All right, so this Penny, six foot seven point guard, we all know he can shoot. And get this, his defensive skills, top notch, 91 speed. That is unguardable. T-Mac, 94 offense, 94 defense. Are you kidding me? His shooting is like kind of okay. Okay, but he can defend and he's fat 94 speed and he's fat 94 wow. speed bro and even these amethyst cards looking really nice the Dwayne Wade can't really shoot but Pau Gasol lit Sam Jones a plus three-pointer are you serious now of course we got the boxes going for uh an arm and a leg and a firstborn and a bag of chips and a Justin Bieber CD uh, they cost a lot, but hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully I can get an amethyst topper at least. Hopefully I can pull one of those diamonds. Hopefully I can be great because these packs are cool. Because in all honesty, I haven't been hopping on my team too much recently. And one of the reasons is because they've, for some reason, slowed the content down. Like, I, it's just not as interesting anymore. But these packs, a diamond penny and a diamond T-Mac, that... That gets your boy interested. That gets me willing to, to buy some packs. Wow, three shoe cards in one pack and an Iman Shumper. Oh, wow. Yo, and shout out to last night, that Cavs Warriors game. <laughs> oh, wow. I almost just got excited for Sapphire. Shout out to that game though, because it just made Twitter erupt, all right? Hello, Everybody hello. was hating on the Cavs. Speaking of, there's LeBron J. Everybody was hating on the Cavs, praising the Warriors. The fact is after that game last night, the exact same thing happened last year. Last year, the Warriors beat the Cavs by 30 in Cleveland on January 8th. 18th, which is like a year from tomorrow or something like that it didn't matter in the finals you know and the Cavs were literally gonna sit out their big three and just take the l anyways and then when they went out on the court it was so obvious they were basically just like taking a knee like they were playing football just kneeling the ball like they didn't care and i know some of you are typing the comment right now jay you're just a salty lebron Cavs fan you were all hyped when they won on christmas day hey that's what I'm talking about, baby. You go ahead, write those hater comments. I don't care that the Cavs lost last night. You know why? The regular season don't mean nothing. And I really don't care because we got an amethyst. Um, that Sam Jones looks really good. Dwayne Wade, Pau Gasol, I don't care. Here we go. Amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. Sam Jones, thank A plus three point. Come on my team. I don't know though. Maybe you guys are all right though and that the Warriors, now they have all this psychological advantage and all this because they just destroyed the Cavs. I don't think so. But if you guys think so, hey, maybe they are just a way better team. I don't know. But even as a LeBron fan and a Cavs supporter, how legit would it be if it wasn't actually Cavs Warriors in the finals? Like that would be such a colossal upset. I'd be upset if the Cavs lost to like the Raptors, but it would be like, what the heck just happened? What in the world is up? Or if like James Harden and the Rockets somehow pulled like the upset of the century and beat the Warriors. Like, I know you'd be salty if you were Warriors fan, but that would actually be hilarious. In all honesty though, that's why a lot of people, like some of my friends here in Canada, they don't like the NBA because it, it seems scripted. It's not, but like, it's gonna be Cavs and Warriors in the finals, right? Like, I can't see how it wouldn't be that way. But even still, man, there's so many good storylines in the league. Like, how about the 76ers? They've won, like, a bunch of games recently. Haven't they already won more games this year than, like, the last three years? Like, Joel Embiid, like, they look cool, all right? The Sixers do look cool. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, he is a storyline to himself. That boy is good. He is, like... He's coming for LeBron's title. I'm I'm not lying. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he is the next big thing. And he's already killing it. Like, that dude scares me. Him and Jabari Parker, lethal combo. Oh, ho, ho, it's magic. You know. I don't know. I'm in such a good mood after that Amethyst pull. Like, I'm sorry if I disrespect your team. Toronto fans, I'm sorry. You guys are really good this year. So you do have a chance at beating Cleveland. I'll admit it. Like, there is a slight chance as we get Corey Maggette, okay. And since the Warriors came to rise of their dominance, the whatever, I, that didn't make sense. The Spurs have been slept on in the West. Like they are still elite, but I don't know. I'm just spitballing. In my opinion, the Cavs just took a knee, didn't even try last night, but that doesn't take away from how good the Warriors looked. Like boy, they were moving that rock. They were 
slinging that ball around like I've never seen before watching basketball. Oh, no. I was just about to say, hey, at least we still got the, the topper left, and it's a freaking ruby topper. Bruh. Why are you the way that you are? But we pulled a solid four cards out of the collection. Um, Sam Jones, I mean, what is his three-point rating? Like, I know that grade is high, but 90. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Like, he's probably one of the best shooters in this game. Let me know, should I pick up one of those diamonds, T-Mac or Penny, do a gameplay with them? Let me know down in the comment section. And also let me know what you guys thought of the Cavs Warriors. In my opinion, unbiased, it looked like the Cavs just weren't trying. Trying to get a psychological advantage so that the Warriors can know they didn't beat the Cavs at their best. But hey, if you think that's what's going to happen in the finals, I'd love to hear. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out till next. Stupid face. I'm trying to do an outro and the face cam turns off. Bruh, I'm out till next time, guys. Peace.